Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and this week we are looking at student pens, and I think you know where I'm headed with this one. This is the Jin Hao Shark. I will spare you my rendition of the Jaws theme. I'm so tempted. Anyway, here is the Jin Hao Shark. It is a great student pen. It meets a lot of the criteria, if not all, on my list. And while we're looking at this, we will also look at some other Jin Hao pens because they have a lot to offer in student pens, although not all of them are quite this much fun. Let's flip that camera and take a closer look. All right, let's take a look at the Jin Hao Shark, which is just almost too long to fit on camera. It's not really that long. It just looks like it in this particular setup. Fun pen. You can, I should mention, I don't have one of these to you, uh, but they do also make this pen, instead of a shark, it's a swan. So there is also that. And I think the swan has a, a symbolism of friendship. Uh, and so that's why they, they choose the swan. The shark is just fun. And I like it. It comes in lots of colors. I'll throw a picture up so that you can see. I used to actually have a whole box of these, a dozen that I bought on eBay, I think it was, for not that much money. I'd put them as uh, stocking gifts at Christmas and had a lot of fun with that. But I've given... This one I bought for myself uh, and had it before that to try it and then ended up buying a box. And I only have one left uh, out of all of that. But I, I do enjoy these pins. Has a great grip when you take the cap off. Let's see here. Uh, it has this sectioned grip. So you have two flat sides for the thumb and the index finger. And then it's just rounded on the bottom side. It is a uh, transparent gr grip section, as you can see, and uh, just very comfortable. I think this one is every bit as comfortable, if not more so, than the Lamy Safari or the uh, Pilot Kakuno. I think this one, out of all three of these, if it's not my favorite, it's tied with one of the others, the uh, Kakuno, as my favorite for comfort. Just really, really uh, nice grip section there. Let's take a look at the nib. This pen, there we go, uh, comes with the standard number five Jin Hao nib. This design, as you can see, it's decorated. This is a good steel nib, especially for the price, which is going to range anywhere from uh, less than two dollars to a few dollars, depending on where you live, what country you live in, and who you can buy from. And you can get these from like uh, Goulet pens. They sell them at a very reasonable price and just had a sale. I think it's over, uh, but they just had a sale where you could, uh, I think it was either buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off. I forget. It was just a really good deal. But uh, their regular price isn't bad at all. And my wife has one that she bought from uh, Goulet pens. You can get them both in this uh, number five nib, and this is what I prefer in these pens. However, I do uh, like a hooded nib from time to time, and of that box of a dozen, this is the only one I have left, and the, these were all hooded nibs. The hood, excuse me, hooded nib, I believe is extra fine, so if you have a preference for extra fine, you're going to want to go with the the hooded nib. One good thing about this grip is that uh, you will notice I have not put any hooded nibs on my student pen list, even though I like a lot of hooded nibbed pens. However, uh, I find that in writing notes, I'm in a hurry and uh, just being able to visually see the larger nib makes it easier when I'm really having to think about something else like the subject that I'm studying. So uh, in those cases, I prefer not to have a hooded nib. But with uh, the section the way it is, it's going to align to the paper right anyway. So this was actually a, a, an exception to that because of the grip. So that's, that's not a bad thing at all. And they come in all, like I said, they come in all sorts of of colors. Uh, my wife has a dark blue where the whole thing is a demonstrator, and I do really like hers. Uh, I like hers better than mine. Anyway, uh, very good standard steel Jin Hao nib. If you are familiar with a lot of Jin Hao pens, then you already know how this writes, and this is where you start to have eyes. Uh, let me just say before I move on to that, it does come with the standard included Jin Hao converter. Even if you buy that box of a dozen, you get a dozen converters. So really a great deal and a good writing pen, as you'll see here in just a second. 
Now, if you like that nib, but you don't want a shark, uh, they, there is the Jin Hao 599. I don't know if this is the five. Yeah, this is the 599. And it comes with that safari-like grip. Uh, again, two sections and a rounded bottom there. And the same five or fine number five steel nib as is in the shark. And that also goes for if you already have one of these and you really like it. For example, I really like this green one. Uh, then the shark writes just as well. It has a different feel uh, because of the shape and the grip, but it writes just as well as this pen. It just gives you a different look. This one, by the way, I believe I bought this on eBay with free shipping. Now that was pre-corona. Some free shipping from China isn't happening right now with some sellers because of issues there. Uh, but I got this one for 99 cents. I haven't checked lately, but I'll put that in the description. But uh, great, great deal. The Jin Hao 992 is another popular choice. This is a great looking pen and great in the hand. Again, uh, comes in several different colors. And I think I paid all of $2.00. For this pen, and again, it comes with the same number five Jin Hao standard fine nib. And this pen is an excellent writer. If you don't like those sectioned grips or those ergonomic grips, then this one is perfectly round. I find this to be a great pen. You will notice I have used up the ink that is in this pen. I did that last week taking notes in a class. I just absolutely enjoy this pen. And I paid, you know, I really don't think I paid two dollars. I think it was closer to a dollar, but great deal. And again, watch for it in packs of five or a dozen, and you get a variety. Great pen to give away to other people. There's also, of course, the Jin Hao 51A in different finishes. One of those in that uh, nice uh, resin, and the other in wood. Love the Jin Hao. 51A. It comes in both the hooded nib, as this one has, and in the same number five nib that you get in these others. You can get that one the same way, and again, I, I did not pay much. Now, I paid more for wood and for resin than I would have for clear plastic, uh, but again, you can get these in packs of the clear plastic of a dozen for a great deal, and another great uh, giveaway pin. This one is actually that bobby nib pen that I reviewed and I love that it's right now filled with Lexington gray it looks like I'm writing with a perfect pencil except that it can't be erased love that pen so there are all those choices and then and then there is the uh, 911 which looks uh, a lot like a 70s you know gift pen like a cross or something like that stainless steel also comes with that extra fine hooded nib, and I found it to be a great writer as well. And they all come, every last one of them, with a converter. And, 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 this is really important. They use international standard cartridges. You don't have to buy anything proprietary, and it comes with a converter if you have bottled ink. And since that's a standard number five nib, it's even swappable if you're the kind of person who wants to swap out some other kind of nib. You really uh, get huge bang for the buck with all of these Jin Hao pens. And that's why it's why I review them so often. Uh, they're just There's just a lot uh, to choose from, and I like that, and lots of different styles. But the Shark is probably the funnest of their uh, student pens, regardless of your age. In fact, my wife's third grade class gave all the school board members when they came to visit one of these Jin Hao sharks just for fun. So fun pen and uh, a great stocking stuffer giveaway and great back to school pen. In fact, everybody in my family has one at this point, I think. So let's see how it writes because it's not just about how it swims through the water. All right, so let's take a look at the Jin Hao shark. And this is just a Lamy Blue because I'm pretty sure 
I filled this up while I was here at work, and this is what's always on my desk. So if I filled it up at work, that's probably it. I think the only other ink I have in my office is Lexington Gray at the moment. I find that this is just a comfortable pen to write with, and I've, I've written a lot of notes with it as well. Uh, you'll get the impression over this week that I take a lot of notes, and here lately, that has been true. It's okay. I've gotten to know some of my fountain pens a whole lot better in the last few months. That's for sure. That grip, if you like that kind of a grip, then you will like this pen. Now, if you hate them, then, you know, I'm sorry. But I did give you several rounded options there uh, earlier in the other Jin Hao's. Uh, the nib itself is just, it's just like all those other Jin Hao number fives. One thing I do find is that they are, they are pretty consistent in uh, this particular nib. And so whatever pen I've had that uh, has had this nib, it has been good. You know, while I'm while I'm thinking about it, speaking about different nibs, I've reviewed this pen before, but some of you may not have seen it before. The uh, the Bobby nib is the other pen that I was talking about, and it, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to see, especially if you don't hold it in the right place. But it's just a slightly bent nib, kind of like a mini Fude uh, nib. But I really like it. It's, it's quite smooth. You have to get this. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but you have to get this from Bobby Pins, and I got mine from him on Etsy. That's usually where I get his. So this is the Bobby nib in the Jinhao 51A. And you can see what it does. I'm going to go slowly so that you can kind of see. There's some variation here on the size. There, yeah, you can really tell. And it enables you, and of course, when you write at different angles, it changes the variation of that nib, too. Now, as I mentioned, I have this one filled with that Lexington Gray. And I usually don't like gray just as a color, period, much less as an ink. However, this is from Noodlers. And uh, I like this one. And I think what's weird is... Okay, I'm saying it's weird that what I like about it in this pen is that it looks like I'm writing with just like a pencil that's at that perfect in-between sharp and dull. And uh, you could totally fool people. I don't know why you would. That's such, it's such a pen geeky thing to do. Uh, but I enjoy it. What can I say? Uh, but there is that option too. Or you can get this with that number five nib. Or you can get it with the hooded. The shark you can get in the five and the hooded. And uh, then all these others as well, you can. And they're all, I've had nothing but good experience with all of these. I mean, you're, obviously you're going to be mixed. There's preferences and things that come into play. But all of might have been good. They've all been reliable. They write well. And they give you options at a price level that's really hard to beat. Because I think the most expensive one here is this one. And I I think I paid seven something for that pen with a nice resin, with a custom nib, and it's a great pen. I've used this one the most the last few days. And uh, this is an excellent bargain. I think even buying it from Goulet, it's probably, uh, I want to say $3.90 something. Uh, I'll have links to all this, but really, really great deal. Or you can get them you know, in packs off of eBay if you're willing to wait for the slow boat from China. And then this I got for $0.99, cents, and this was just $1.60 something. Awesome, awesome deals. I mean, you can't even get ink for that. So, excellent. And every single one comes with a converter, and every single one uses international cartridges. So, you got options. And uh, we like options around here. That's a good deal. So, God bless you, and have a good night.